it going, my fellow collectors? This is Link's Reviews, and I am Link, and today we have some pop Target exclusive Harry Potter Funko Pops. Now, these are going to be super cool. These are the part of the Diagon Alley collection. Now, I don't have all of the Diagon Alley collection, unfortunately. I do have these three, and then we'll be moving on, because I got some other Harry Potter Pops as well. This is going to be a Harry Potter-inspired week, so let's get right to it, shall we? So we are back with some Harry Potter Funko Pops. It has been so long. Actually, actually, I don't think I've actually ever shown you. Actually, no, I had a Dobby and a Niffler that were relatively to Harry Potter. And that was, I think, pretty much it. Those are the only Harry Potter Pops that I've ever done. Mostly because I'm just not interested in Harry Potter Pops that much anyways. But these are super cool because of the Diagon Alley collection. So, unfortunately, again, I don't have all of them, which is a shame. But... First up, we have number 138, which is Gringotts Head Goblin with Gringotts Bank. So, this looks super cool. Pop Deluxe. This is a 6-inch Funko Pop, a Target exclusive. All of these are Target exclusives. Had these for a while, sitting on the back burner, just waiting for a time to record them. And I finally have them. I also have, actually, I'll wait till the, uh, later in the week to show you what else I have as well. So this basically this week has been uh, is going to be Harry Potter slash Backburner Funko Pop. So I've just been waiting for a time to do. So let's get this one open and check it out, shall we? Also, if you noticed, no glasses. Got contacts. I'm so tired of the glare of these lights and uh, the camera lens picking up. It's, it's my nitpickiness for thumbnails that really gets me. I didn't want to take out the entire back as well. Jeez. All right, so here we have Gringotts, Head Goblin, Gringotts Bank. Oh, it comes off too? This whole thing is a separate base? Oh, that's cool. It stands just by itself. Check out Gringotts, the Head Goblin of the Gringotts Bank. Just by himself, he's absolutely spectacular. He looks really cool. All right, let's put this base together and check it out even further. So here we have just the base itself. Now that's a detailed base, check it out. That looks really cool to be completely honest. All right, now we're gonna test it out with him on the base. Oh, I'm really, I'm gonna really enjoy this. Kind of wish I opened these sooner. So check them out, Gringotts with the bank. He looks absolutely amazing. Sweet. All right, let's check out for some fine details. Oh, it just looks so amazing. I love the goblin sharp teeth. Looks fantastic. There is some black paint on the top of the Green Gates. Green Gods. I keep saying Green Gates. Green Gods Bank. Although that could just be some extra paint, although the door is super highly detailed. Let's see if you can turn his head. You can turn his head. That is absolutely fantastic. The, gl uh, the glasses look strong. All in all, he looks like an awesome pop. The base itself, very cool. I would say the base itself, 9.5 out of 10. Funko Pop himself, 10 out of 10. All in all, equaling out to a 9.75 out of 10. Let me know in the comments down below if you've gotten any of these pops. I would love to know. These are super cool. Alright, so now we're moving on to Harry Potter himself. Number 140 at Eyelips Aporium. Where he get Hedwig, or actually where Hagrid got him Hedwig. Where he's probably picking out some treats for himself. Well, not for himself, for Hedwig. Oh, rip Hedwig. Oh, I mean, that was such a sad death. Completely unnecessary in my opinion. But she saved her human's life, and that was spectacular. So let's get it open, shall we? Oh, poor heck. Well, that's making me uh, sad just thinking about it. Stop taking out the back! Ah! I took out the back 
again. Disappointing. All right, let's check out Harriet Eilip Saporium. So here we have Harry himself, all by him's lonesome. And then here we have Eyelip Saporium. Looks absolutely fantastic. Super cool. I love it so much. There's a little Hedwig sitting on her perch. Just passing by, probably with Hagrid. And then Hagrid probably notices him uh, see her and he's like, that's a perfect gift. Let's check out Harry on the base itself. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, and they just look great together, don't they? Absolutely fantastic. Harriet Eilip Saporium, Pop Deluxe, number 140. Kicking it out of the ballpark again. As far as I can see, the details look absolutely amazing. The owls themselves. A snowy owl, a Taito Alba, which is the common barn owl. Looks absolutely amazing. So cool. They even wrote Islet Saporium for the sign on the building. Looks fantastic. Can you turn the little owl's head? No, you cannot turn the little owl's head. That's, that's fair, though. Looks absolutely fantastic. Can you turn Harry's head? You can turn Harry's head. Yes. Absolutely fantastic. 10 out of 10 in my book, guys. Super cool. Awesome piece. Whoops. My bad. Now for our final pop of the day, guys. Yes, the final one. We are doing Ron Weasley at Quality Quidditch Supplies, number 142. Absolutely fantastic. I will try to get the other ones in the future just because I like this line so much. But, again, if I can't, it's not going to hurt me. Looks absolutely fantastic. Let's get it open, shall we? I also love... The one main thing I do love about the Harry Potter Funko Pops, I love their boxes. Because it just, it's very Harry Potter-ish. Oh my god, the bats were killing me. They keep folding into the Funko Pops and pulling out, and then they get damaged. Okay, that's one thing I don't like about these. These bats are just, keep falling out. Disappointing! Alright, now we know that this one's going to be special. Although, honestly, Ron was not that good at Quidditch. Not that good. He was not as good as his brothers. Obviously not as good as Harry. Even with his confidence boosted, he was, he was, I feel like he wasn't as good as Oliver Wood. He was the keeper, right? Yeah, he was the keeper. Alright, so first off, I'm going to show you uh, Ron Weasley, then the base, and then them together. Now, here we have Ron Weasley holding some books in his general hand-me-down, but nice-looking clothes, generally. Very utilitarian. I like him. Super cool. I love how he's wearing, it looks like he's wearing loafers. That's funny. Alright, so now here is the base. To the entrance of Quality Quidditch Supplies, you can see the Golden Snitch and some of the... Oh, you can. There are all the balls there. You've got um, the Bludgers and the Beaters. That's super cool and a really nice added detail. So you got all three balls for uh, the Quidditch sport. That's super cool. Super nicely detailed. Let's check out Ron Weasley on the base. I also love how it has the Hogwarts crest on it. That's hilarious. It's like, oh, we're sponsored by Hogwarts. So here we have Ron Weasley at Quality Quidditch Supplies. Absolutely fantastic. The detail looks absolutely spectacular. Let me know in the comments down below of any of your thoughts on these. Again, I'd love to know them. And I know I already said that, but I'm saying it again anyways. Super cool. All right. So 
So I would say this is also a 10 out of 10 just because it's not really nicely detailed. I don't see any t defects. And you can turn Ron Weasley's head, which is absolutely amazing. Like it a lot. Alright, so first up before we get to the ending of this video, I do have some news. If you've been paying attention, I am doing a cosplay, or if you're new to the channel, I also do cosplay for conventions that I go to. So, one of the props that I'm making is the Whirly Geek Saw from Bloodborne. Completely different subject to that, but it is almost done. I've got completely done with the handle. I'm halfway through with the saw blades half, which is going to be very cool. I will definitely show you guys that when it is done. It's almost there, guys. Almost there. And I only have a couple more pieces to buy um, for both my cosplays, and then I'm done. And then I can show you guys. So, yeah. That's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Share this video with your friends, because if you do, we're trying to get to 500 subscribers before the end of the year, and I am doing a giveaway. So two people will have a chance to win two special edition Black Light Funko Pops and one uh, Mandalorian Baby Yoda Grogu Child with Cup. And that's going to be absolutely a smashing time. I, I just did a British slang while talking about Harry Potter. That's hilarious. But, um, yeah. You can definitely check out my Twitter as well. I post sneak peeks one to two days beforehand. And it's a good way to know when I post and to what I'm going to be doing this week. So, that's it for this video, guys. As always, my fellow collectors, have a nice day and peace out.